Well, you and I know that each of these visualizations can be used to filter the other visualizations on the page. It's nice to have a very specific way for users to filter, and that is to include a slicer. I'm going to take this list that I have that is currently a table, and I'm going to simply convert it to a slicer visualization. It has a little funnel on it, and now we have a slicer. should be exactly the same. It mostly is. I'm going to change our font size. just for our work while we're creating this, make this a little bit longer. This is actually a multi-select slicer. So if I wanted to look at North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, I can simply choose Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, but hold control while I'm doing it. And it knows exactly how to behave, and my users can usually figure that out pretty quickly too. So here are our stores in those three territories and the sales goal and the sales for those three territories. Slick. If I want to select just one state, I simply go choose one state. And if I want to clear this filter, I can do that easily too. Simply clicking on the item that's selected brings everyone back. Now there's another style here, and that's a drop-down. With the drop-down, it takes up less space, and I can then go in and just choose the items that I want. For example, just North Carolina. In most cases, I prefer the list style because it makes it clear what it has been selected. The rest of the list is still visible, and it also makes it clear how to use this. The list doesn't go away. The order remains the same. I can put the slicer any place I wish on the page, and it allows my users to select or multi-select information and to filter. They can also choose if they don't wish to use the slicer to simply use the visualizations themselves. The fact that I converted the table to a slicer simply makes it easier to do the filtering that they could already do using the visualizations.